So today I thought I would try to make some popcorn in my rice cooker. Now I have not tried this so I don't know if it's going to work but we will see together. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use some extra virgin olive oil and some Hobo Redenbacher popcorn. Now I've measured out a small amount because I don't know if this is going to work. Um, so I'm just going to try this today and we'll see if it works. So come along with me guys. cooker plugged in and I'm just going to put a little bit of oil in it. And so I'm just putting a little bit of oil in there. And I'm going to add the popcorn. And right now it's on the keep warm setting. Um, but I, when I push it on the cook, it will go up in temperature. Now I'm only doing a little bit of this because I really don't know if this is going to work out. Um, I'm hoping that it will. But so I'm going to let this stay on, keep warm for a little while, and then I'll push cook, and then we'll see what will happen. I'll bring you back. Okay, I let that sit on keep warm for me. Just a couple minutes, like maybe two minutes or something. And so now I switched it to cook, and we're going to see if this actually works. I'm hoping it does. It's, it'd be nice if you're out, you know, in a campsite or in the wilderness or whatever to have some popcorn. Rain is supposed to start coming in later, and I thought maybe I'd just, since I'm not going to be able to go outside, I thought maybe I'd just sit and watch a movie, and if this works, I'll have popcorn to go with my movie. So, wish me luck, guys. Okay, so I don't know if you can see it, but one of the kernels has just popped. It took about maybe 10 minutes for that first kernel to pop. Now, my rice cooker did go on to warm because... Um, in a rice cooker, I think the weight of it determines when it goes to warm. So because this popcorn is not that, doesn't have that much weight, I'm having to hold it onto the cook position. But at least we got one to pop so far. So I'm just going to let the camera run for a little while and then we'll see if this actually works. But I do have to hold this because see how it pops this up? So I have to hold this down so that it gets the heat. Hopefully I can get some popping going on on the camera and I'm, yeah, let me see, let me move this one. Hopefully you can see it in there. There goes another one, I don't know if you saw that, hopefully you did. There's another one. It's not as fast as the microwave, I will say that. And we're getting a couple going.
Now, I think this Orville Redenbacher is the one that says that every kernel pops. So hopefully they'll pop and I'll have some popcorn for my movie. And then all I'm going to do is just melt up some butter if this all pops. Just melt up some butter and pour it on top. Put a little bit of salt on it. Yeah, we got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. getting some to pop. Maybe this will work. Still popping in there. It is taking a little bit of time, but if you're a popcorn eater, this is how you can pop some of your popcorn. If you don't have a microwave or I'm noticing that some of the grease is popping out of it. This lid must not be totally down. smells like popcorn, I can tell you that. Ooh, did you see all that grease? I'm hoping that it's not fitting on the camera. There's a few more kernels in there. Some of the grease did splitter out. I think that might be all that's going to pop, but I didn't put much in there anyway, so I'm going to say that you can make popcorn in a rice cooker. Alright, so there, oh geez, that scared me. <laughs> so there you have it. Some is still popping, I guess. Okay, so I'm going to, I think it's all done popping. I'm hoping it doesn't splatter any grease on me. So I'm going to take this out. See? Popcorn from a rice baker. Let's see if I can figure out how to get this. Don't think it's cold. Let's see that I have room. Yeah, there are some unpopped kernels in there. Right? There you go. Now all you gotta do is put some butter and some salt on there. So it took about maybe 15 minutes. It was about 10 minutes before the first kernel popped. 
and then I didn't let it go and pop up every single kernel, but. There you have it. You can make popcorn in a rice cooker. I didn't even put any butter on this, and this is good. So now you know you can have popcorn made from your rice cooker. So if you want to watch some scary movies and have yourself some popcorn, now you know how you can do it. Anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching. Oh, yeah, and I wanted to show you. I decided to put a window into my van. Actually, the window was there, but I just had it covered up by this stuff here. Um, so I just decided to hang some curtains up, and then now I have a window to look out. Yay!